Hello. Hi everyone. Good morning. So guys, as part of the today's scenario, I just want to show you how exactly we can use this Karate framework on an IntelliJ editor, guys. One of my students asked me, Surendra, can you please help me how exactly we can configure it on an IntelliJ editor? That's the reason we were just adding this particular video. How to configure that? So the first and foremost thing that you need to do is download this IntelliJ to your machine. Okay, in order to download that, go to the official website, download the community uh, version of this particular IntelliJ and install it. I'm using a Mac machine, so basically, and which is having a Mac M1 chip. That's the reason I have downloaded this IntelliJ that is compatible with the Mac M1 chip. And I have a successfully installed that particular one. And once after I have a installed, I'm launching this particular editor from okay uh, from the applications folder i'm just launching this intellij and at the very first time whenever you have a installed and launched this one choose a new project i'm just choosing a new project and i'm giving a name as uh, you know karate basics okay so i'm just giving it as a karate basics too and here i have a chosen my java version uh, which is 11 that i have already uh, you know installed in this particular machine and as part of this particular arch type choose this particular ad and what I'm gonna do right now is go to the Maven repository and search for this a karate arch type so here I'm picking up this particular group ID okay com dot inun dot karate so this is the one and you know the next one is the artifact ID which is gonna be the arch type that I have copied and the version that you see out over there is a 1.4.1 I have just created that and I clicked on an ad and right now I'm choosing a create a button that's it guys I haven't done anything else I just created that and it's going to download all the required dependencies and other things here and it got a finisher right now and if you scroll down and if you see here it already added the Karate J unit 5 dependencies to this particular project and even on the left hand uh, you know if you expand the source code of an SRC it has an SRC test Java in which there is an example and you do have a users dot a feature at the very first time whenever you are using this particular IntelliJ editor you need to add your plugin that supports a cucumber that's the reason I'm navigating to this particular settings and I'm searching for this cucumber plugin from here okay cucumber plugin and I have installed a cucumber for Java even I suggest you to go with a cucumber Java plugin itself and after this a plugin got installed restart your editor I'm not writing anything new code here guys as and when you open that particular feature file it does has a couple of scenarios like you know it has the uh, get all the users basically and it has uh, some other scenarios ideally whichever the karate scenario that it has it does has uh, all the scenarios I don't want to all these things I'm deleting all these flows I don't want all this I was just deleting all this content I just want to maintain only one scenario very small scenario that's gonna be uh, you know get the users and the status code is gonna be 200 as simple as it is I haven't done anything else whichever the default scenarios are there I have deleted all those chunks and by default there is a user runner we already know that this user runner is configured with that particular feature file as and when I perform a right click operation on a user runner and run so automatically the API it does has is getting the users information see basically in the console here it got executed successfully and it retrieved the complete user information and even the whole information got a printed down to the console here and at the end if you see in the scenario you have a uh, in the feature file you have a only one scenario and it got executed successfully okay and it got executed successfully so maybe wantedly I changed this one to 400 and I was just trying to execute that I was just trying to execute this particular runner and when I try to execute it of course it got a fail I know the reason basically right uh, so as I wantedly change it so the script will fail so this is the way how exactly you can deal with it okay so moving further whatever the scenarios that we have automated you can go with the using an uh, you know Eclipse editor or you can use an IntelliJ editor by creating your feature files and writing down the content it's up to you go ahead and uh, practice the scenarios and at any point if you have uh, any questions feel free to drop me an email thank you bye bye